Golden Globe winner Idris Elba is one of Hollywood's most hardworking go-to actors. He has played everyone from Nelson Mandela in Long Walk to Freedom to drug kingpin Stringer Bell on The Wire and even the villain in the upcoming Star Trek Beyond. Elba was just nominated for two Golden Globes, Best Supporting Actor for his role in the movie Beasts of No Nation and Best Actor in a Limited Series or TV Movie for the BBC America crime drama Luther. In the series, Elba plays the self-destructive genius detective John Luther. You rang, my lord? George Cornelius. You know I am. Come with me, please. Sorry, mate, who are you again? Police. Which police? The police. The show makes a highly anticipated return in a one-night special this Thursday on BBC America. Idris Elbum, good morning. Welcome. Thank you. Nice to you be here. You are an extremely busy man because <laughs> there's not just this. You've got movies in the works. You've got a TV miniseries. Uh, you started a clothing line. You're voicing video games. On top of all that, you're a DJ, and you opened for Madonna recently. Yeah, yeah. I'm busy, you know. I, <laughs> I, uh, I can't sleep, so I, I work hard. <laughs> well, you know what's interesting? When we both heard you were coming, one of the first things we said to each other is we love everything this guy does yes, every true. all of your work hits a certain level how do you find the energy to balance it all uh, that's a great question and I'm not sure but you know I think it gets easier as you get older to be honest you know I've been working for a long time and you know what you put out there is what you end up getting back so you know yep. I've been very fortunate some of my early roles have been really good uh, good writing good directors and so on and so forth and that's just become part of my my uh, mantra for moving forward, you know? You're going back to Luther after two years away from it. Mm. This is like a, a big, like two hour special that's being broadcast. Um, th that's a really special part, always has been. I love that part. Yeah. Um, and you seem to have a knack for, for, for finding good parts. Uh, I, I don't know. I think they find me. I think we find each other. Like I said, you know, it's like good work sort of begets good work. And um, I was very lucky to get Luther. It wasn't written for me whatsoever. Mm -hmm. uh, it just happened to land on my lap at a time where, you know, I was making films in America and it was a real good departure from that to go back to television and do something in my own accent and, you know, back where, where I'm from. So. I was very lucky. Well, you mentioned movies. Is there a chance Luther could go to the big screen? Yeah, you know, that's exactly what I would like to do. You know, yeah. I think this incarnation of Luther, it's two hours. You know, it's kind of designed to, to get people in the imagination of it being a film. Right. And uh, you'd like to play him in a film. Yeah, for sure. Well, that would leave out the possibility probably of becoming James Bond then. Absolutely. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! I think John Luther would be more women. exciting. Yeah. <laughs> you'd really, you'd rather do that than be James Bond. Well, you know, look, I'm part of the fabric of creating um, yeah. John Luther, it's part of something that I've created. Look, uh, listen, James Bond rumor is such a compliment to me, but it's not necessarily mine at yes, all, actually. Right. You know, but John Luther is something that I could see happening. I want to ask you about Beasts of No Nation. We want to play a quick clip of it, but you're so scary good. I mean, your father, your manipulator, you are everything in this movie. Let's let people take a look and then we'll ask you some questions. So I see what are we to be doing with this thing? This thing? It's just a boy. A boy. A boy is nothing. A boy is harmless. Harmless, no, sir! Does a boy have two eyes to see? Two eyes, sir! A boy has hands to strangle and fingers to pull triggers. Why are you saying a boy is nothing? Huh? A boy is very, very dangerous. You understand me? I mean, the film is really about how they recruit kids to become soldiers in Africa. And you see there, they're so young. Yeah. Was that character hard to play? Definitely, yeah. You know, being a dad um, and just, you know, being a family, you know, like having to realize that actually there are people out there that prey on kids like that, take them away and turn them into monsters like that. That is an absolute reality. So for me, it was a struggle to digest that. But it was an important film for me, one of the most important films I've made, because it definitely highlights there's, a, there's an epidemic that still happens to this day. Mm -hmm. And it's actually some of the fuel of terrorism, to be honest, that they can convince young people to fight for causes you don't know what they're fighting for. Uh, and it's people like that character that do that. You shot the film in Ghana, which is where your, your mother was born, correct? 
Yes, my mom and dad. My mom was born in Ghana, my dad from Sierra Leone. Right. And you took your mom with you on the show? Yeah, shoot? yeah. How did that, how was that? That was really, it was spiritual. We went like a week or two before I started filming so yeah. I could have a holiday with her. She was so proud to take me <laughs> to Ghana. And I met, I met my extended family. So it was really, it was really special actually. This also must have been hard to shoot just physically because the terrain is, yeah. is frightening. That was real jungle. We were, you know, yeah, that was yeah. no set. And you had a really scary moment there, didn't you? Oh, I had a moment where we were shooting uh, on a waterfall. It was a very slippery waterfall. It was like, you know, I don't know how many feet up in the air. And I, I basically slipped and kind of nearly tumbled into rocks. But thankfully, I didn't. <laughs> it was a bit scary. You know, you mentioned that you always want to have a different type of role. We've seen you in so many cult things, like The Wire. And now we're hearing about Star Trek. Was that a big departure for you? Did you want to? Yeah, I mean, I, I think, honestly, you know, I, there is no rhyme and reason to the way I choose roles. But the one thing I do definitely do want to do is disappear into the role each time and just be completely, you know, su surprise myself and do something else. So Star Trek is like, I've never done anything like that. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to go for it. It's good. And you, you're playing the bad guy. I'm not at liberty to say. <laughs> I've, been, I've been getting in trouble for saying anything nowadays. So, um, Have you, would you say. like to play a bad guy? Always. No, no. I like to play complex characters. He's a complex yeah. character. All right. Idris Elba, thank you so much for being with us. Remember, you can thank catch you. Idris Elba in Luther on BBC America, and you can stream Beasts of No Nation right now on Netflix.